And a dose of science news now. Researchers have discovered an ancient bone about 50,000 years old. The bone belongs to a child of two separate human-like species. Both of those species are now extinct. Scientists prove that this bone belonged to a kid from two ancient species that no longer exist proves that tens of thousands of years ago, these human species mated with each other across the spatial divide and had offspring. With me now is Professor Yisrael Hershkovitz with the Anthropology Department of Tel Aviv University. Thanks, Professor, for being with us. Are these separate species of humans? Do they look like us? Do they act like us? Was it human, an animal, or two humans that were having these children? Well, uh, uh, the, f the first, the fact that they could have, they could have uh, children, they could make children together, implies that they uh, were quite close genetically. And one correction, basically you have to be aware that we, all of us today, are carrying some genes from our Neanderthals and Denisovians' ancestor. So it's not just that they uh, totally disappeared because present human population carry a certain amount, also a very little amount, but still carrying little, uh, little of the genes of those two uh, uh, homo species. So what's so special about this discovery? It's, it's a, it is amazing because this is the first time to show that when Neanderthal and Denisovian met, they actually interbred. I mean, it's, uh, we had some ideas that this could have happened because, as I said before, we, we found some uh, genes in, in the Neanderthal genes in Denisovian specimens, but not vice versa. But now here we have the first example that when a male Neanderthal met a Denisovian female, or vice versa, and actually they met and they managed to bring offspring, fertile offspring.